Alright, and welcome back, guys. In the last episode, we uh, went to the Mesa, we linked to the, uh, the Mesa to another portal, and also, we did this enchanting table. Yep, so that is all done. So, in this episode, I've already started planning out what I wanted to do. However, we're going to do the water area, which is going to link up the fish farm, which we'll do probably in the next episode. So, this is going to be quite a big build, because what it entails is, to me, basically, it's almost like me having to do an entire dome um so this is how wide the staircase is gonna go so it's only gonna be uh one two three four five six seven seven wide so stairs along here stairs along here and then all the way down probably going down another five or four blocks um and then it's gonna go into a small dock area um i think i said that quite clearly i don't know how it's gonna pick up on audio however um yeah so it's gonna be quite uh big thing to do just for one person so um i'm also gonna have to so this is only for the floor however after i think i said this point here is going to open up into this huge area um so i don't know how i'm going to do that i'm still working out the logistics of it and then that's going to be the water area for the base and it's all going to be linked to boats so we're going to get an automatic boat system around it probably go out so once it gets down to the the y level as my phone goes off uh Okay, that's uh, fine. I should really turn that off, my bad guys. Um, so, yeah, as soon as this goes down... So, how many... So, probably... Sorry, I'm working this all out live. Probably not the best thing. Um, and then, in the middle, what I was going to do is have the this red stripe here. I don't have any on me. You just keep on carrying down, so it's almost like a an ongoing theme. So this um, basically can then connect into this area and probably have stone on it. And then that's why we, that's why I collected the mossy cobble um, from the jungle temple the other day uh, because it means that when we get to the port, um, because it is an underground area, uh, I can't get those. I don't think. Yeah, well, but yeah, because it's an underground area. Uh, everything's going to be quite mossy, so the mossy cobble definitely works out here. Um, and I'm probably going to need a bit of mossy, uh, like s stone brick, because I think I need that. But yeah, I will get this entire area excavated and come back at you. Okay, so this is the general shape. So um, it's hard to see what I'm going for right now. However, so this is going to be the um, as far as it goes. And then across here is that's that's going to be the water. So yeah, quite a big project in my opinion. So what I need to do now is, as you can see up there, I've um, started to get a general shape of it. I just put it up and destroyed it. That's all I got up there. Um, but yeah, uh, I need to basically have it. So what I want along this, it's almost like a pier. So I want to go. So what I think is a good idea, first of all, is to get the general shape of the um, the lake area. Let's call it a lake. Sure, why not? Um, and then and then we're going to make this path out of stone. However, underneath the stone... No, we're going to make this uh, this bit over out of wood and have the logs around the, around the edge. It's underneath we have water, so it's almost like it's on stilts. And then I want to build back this way and then have along the edge have um, the faces of houses. So it gives almost like an actual... Um, a port area but yeah that is an update currently on this um this this uh whole giant air hole so i think this is going to be quite easy to replicate actually because um all i should need to do i understand it's going to look very very linear however i can always add shape eventually like around the corners so i'm not really that bothered about it and um i'm going to eventually have to go around the edges do all the stone as well, which is going to be a pain in the ass. But you know what? I signed myself up for this, so let's go and do it. And then um, we can. We don't only need the um, the water area to go. Uh, sorry, the AFK fish farm to go this way. We can have everything going in other directions because technically we have like three ports now going in three different directions. So we have. Um, one going that way, one going that way, and then they can split off as well. So we can have one going this way, which goes downhill, and then it splits into two, or splits into three. So there's so many options we could do with this, just general idea at the moment. But the main... So yeah, um, I will come back when this whole 
should 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 be finished but uh, most likely on the speed which i'm doing at probably not because this is going to be a, a bit of a long episode fortunately for me i have stacked up my videos for the last couple of days so i don't mind putting this much time into a single project for a video if i was uh if this video was coming out today which was um which is monday it would be a bit of a problem so it's monday for me this video should be coming out on wednesday um, so I don't really mind. I do have a couple IRL things to do, um, which involve work, but, oh well. Um, so yeah, I will come back in a minute, guys. Alright, so you see what we're going to go for. It's going to be a very, like, open area, so all this bit is going to be, um, uh, knocked down on about three or four blocks downwards. Um, fortunately for me, when I was over here, there was a big, uh, dip of gravel. So you can see there's still some left, um, and with my goddamn fortune shovel, it does go quite fast. Um, I mean, it's just annoying because I can't get granite, and who needs... Um, wait, is it granite? No, oh, flint, flint. I always keep getting flint. I don't want flint. Um, but yeah, so you know what I was saying with the faces of the houses? I probably can't do that, so I just need to do like little stools either side. Maybe I'll put a villager, in, a villager in each of them. But it's definitely looking good. It's not... I understand it's not... Um, Parallel, I mean symmetry, symmetrical, there we go, that's the word, um, but to be fair, it doesn't have to be, I kind of like the idea of um, it not being like only the first couple steps and then it um, basically becoming more natural, so most likely what I was going to do is have stone, stone bricks on either side down here, get down here and then it's going to suddenly break into cobble, then oak down here on this uh oak slabs on this bit and then fences along here and then have a a port into a boat area which is going to have an automatic one and then the reason why the roof looks so flat at the moment because i haven't been able to work on it um and then lighting yep yeah, lighting as well uh i need to go into the nether and pick up some glowstone but that is going to be the roof is going to go around about three to four blocks in like a nice a nice curve all around it and then it's going to have stalagmites What's a slag tights? Well, to be fair, it's going to have both because it's going to... Oh, that's not the right tool. Um, it's going to go up and down because I'm going to have ones on the floor and ones on the roof. Because um, if you didn't know, I think I've said it before, however, I'm a builder for Iskal95. And on his public server, there was a... For the... Um, oh, lag a bit. Uh, for the areas where you get to the creative world and the um, survival areas, you can actually, you see that we're, you're put on a little island and underneath there are stalagmites and above you, I think it's stalactites. I think it's the other way around, but uh, they, don't t they don't teach that in um, UK geography, so, oh well, I don't feel that dumb. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll come back with this whole thing, so also... I have to go. Let's um. Do I have? No, I don't. So let's go up to the surface and get these uh stairs. And I should have enough stone bricks. It should. But I filled so many double chests at the moment. It's ridiculous. I'm slowly, slowly running out of um places to hold it. Um, I should really get the inventory mod because this is <laughs> it's it's annoying for me. And I'm not really that. I'm not normally that fussed about. Oh, there we go. I'm not normally that fussed about, um, oh, I didn't mean to do that, uh, oh my god, game, please, okay, so we get 44, perfect, um, I think there's some oak up here, but, the re yeah, the reason why it's a torch then now is because, oh, there's some more there, uh, I was doing something downstairs and then came up and there was suddenly a lot of, lot of, uh, zombies, I didn't know they could spawn in that close junction to each other. There we go, we've got plenty of stone bricks, so let's make all of these into stairs. I know I'm kind of doing like in a reversed order, so that's 48, um, let's do that, we can always do more stairs, and let's, oh, I am dumb, that is jungle, do you know, I think jungle's going to work quite fine, because it's like a, it's, it's quite like a damp block anyway, so I don't really mind it, let's get those on the hot bar, um, so yeah, this is all going to be stone brick, Oh, I remember what I said. I said that these weren't all going to be... So let's put those down, and then... Does that look fine? I mean, it's not really the most functional thing. We'll see how it looks. Nope, I didn't want to do that. Definitely did not want to do that. One, two... 
There we go. One more. And the last one. And then the reason why that is the last one. Is it the last one? No, I don't think it is. Um, all I know is that I wanted these slabs on this block here. So I think I might need to go up another one. So let's just put these down. And then fence posts along this one. So it's definitely going to be a very small little poor area. However, I really need to get these down just so I know which bits I'm allowed to remove. Um, but yeah, all... No, I don't want that. Eventually, let's see what this looks like. So that... Um... What if they all... What if all the corners were like that? I think that would make sense. Yeah! I like that. Let's put those down. So they can all be like that because they're all the same. However, I think this one here needs to be... Like that. And these two as well, maybe? I think this is the bad... This is not the right... Oh, that looks better. So you're looking at there. So also with the walls as well, they're all going to be replaced with stone just so it makes a. Uh, it's going to look quite plain how our thing is definitely going to work out because. Um, oh, there we go. Oh, wait, is this one? Like, yeah, it is. Um, I think it's going to work out because it's, uh, the whole point of this area is to not. It's 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 the fact that the stone is just going to be there, not to like remove your eye from what's going to be here. It's going to be like a rather. It's going to be a medium-sized boat. And also, so it's going to be a medium-sized boat in the middle, a little bridge out. I don't know what they're called. A little harbour? No, maybe. Uh, but yeah, a little place where it's just going to have a boat dispenser. Um, I've got an idea for what I want to do for that area. It's going to be quite um, rotten, so that's going to be quite nice. And then that area is going to be the fish farm. That area is going to be something else. And that area is going to be something else again. Um, wait, which way am I facing? Am I facing north? <sighs> no, I'm not. Um, in that case, then... That way is going to be the... Sorry, this place is going to be the fish farm. And this place is going to be the way to the... Um, oh, sorry, as I adjust my chair. It's going to be the place to the uh, guardian farm when we eventually get that set up. Because what I'm going to do is... Um, because I believe that uh, the guardian... Uh, the water temple is north. And if it is, that'd be great. So, it's a shame we didn't do everything in reverse. It's probably going to be nighttime though, isn't it? Yeah, so... Well, yeah, it is nice time. Yeah, so it's north, so it's in that direction. Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait, no, what? Oh, I'm getting all topsy-turvy right now. Wait, so it's south. Um. So that's north. So that is facing that way. So that works out perfectly. So yeah, that is the fish farm, and that is the um, guardian temple when we eventually clear it and get a farm set up there. Um, so that's going to be good. We're going to have a... I've already got an idea of it. It's going to go completely narrow. It's going to go into a tunnel of um, stone roundabout. Like, it's going to be a circle. I think it's going to be four wide, one block's in the corner, four down, and so on, so on. And that's going to suddenly become... Because we are under the water, most likely, that's going to go into a water tunnel, and that's going to look very, very nice, and it's, everything's going to be enclosed, and everything's going to be... Oh, I can just picture it in my mind. Sorry, I knocked the microphone stand. But yeah, um, so I will come back with this area completely removed, and then... I'll either work on the water, or I will work on the roof, because that's going to look quite nice. But I need to think of uh, a stalagmite and stalactite style, because I think I might just go with what I've done on the, what we did, sorry, on the, um, uh, on Iskal's public server, because that might be just a more simple design, uh, because I've done it before, and it's just, uh, it's just so easy. The problem is just doing uh, single player. And survival. It's just going to be a little bit of effort, but I don't really mind. But yeah, I'll see you in a minute. So I'm sure it's going to be the first of many repairs on this pickaxe, because we've still got a bit to go. But yeah, um, I'll show you the progress which I've done. It hasn't been that much since the last um, bit of update, but it's looking good. It's definitely got the design which I want to go for. Oh, hello, Mr. Spider. How are you doing? Oh, and Mr. Skeleton. And oh, I don't know how many arrows but yeah it's definitely it's definitely is looking good um wait did he just i don't know what hit me then i really hope i don't die i'm gonna use my uh axe 
Okay, you first, you first, you first. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna, definitely gonna die. Oh, oh correct. I think I got like two birds with one stone in there. Nice. But yeah, definitely a dark area. Definitely need to fix that. Um, but this is gonna be, this is the update so far. Um, done all the under bits. I need to get some dark oak. Uh, some dark oak so that when I put my spruce oak away, spruce wood again away, so when it touches the water, give off that like rotting wood feel. Uh, you change wood so um, it goes from dark oak, sorry, from spruce to dark oak. But yeah, I definitely do the, definitely do like the way. I definitely like the way how these um these corners are looking at the moment. Um, so I just need to work out on shaving basically the entire areas i might have some little caves because looking at that only the top bit i mean i'm going to shave out that entire area up there however it's just gonna look it's gonna look so good um i need to indent the roof a bit you know so that uh it's just it's not like one flat roof but apart from that so far so good it's gonna need a lot of scaffolding, and fortunately, I have a fair bit of dirt from um, just general exploring. I haven't done much off camera, uh, except for dig this hole. Um, would prefer to do more, prefer to have done more, but this is gonna be the last little bit, and then we need to start working on the design of the floor of the. Um, what should we call this? Reservoir? Lake? River? Port? Let's call it a port. Yeah. Um, but that is going to be, but yeah, the, the reason why, um, I think diorite's going to be good in this, this, um, area is because I saw it on a, a plot world once. Somebody decided, had the great idea, and it truly is great to have, um, diorite as the salt deposit area thing. So I will have that in this little bit. So hopefully, um, let's keep that as that perfect. Um, but yeah, so once we get this low, this is going to be so. I had, so I don't think I'm really explaining myself very that well. So the hole that I've done, the dung, the hole that I've dug is going to be the minimum, the bare bare minimum. So that means I'm going to only ever add more. So whether or not I want to put this, uh, push this floor down uh, one or two more blocks or even push the, uh, the the roof out one or two blocks, I can do that because I've just set myself a template and that's because I haven't actually planned out this area in the greater world like I have done everything else so far. I've just done everything spontaneously. I've, I've of course, thought about it. I just haven't done it like... Okay, so I have nothing to do. What should I do? Here we go. Let's do it. No, of course not. That's extremely dumb. Um, so what I'm doing now is... This area looks so good. It looks so clean. I'm probably going to start pushing up the roof, though, all the way back there. So that it's probably five up in the middle. By like a... It's going to be a fairly big circle, so it's going to be quite a drash. A uh, drash? 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 Um, no, quite a rushed... Um, roof but i'm sure it's gonna look amazing i need to get it right the only problem is it's gonna be getting up there it's gonna be such a pain and also designing out the stalagmites because i think i want the roof ones to be glass like colored glass but i don't have that many colors to work with we've got brown which is gonna look horrible it's either that we just go with the general um the general colors however i think my um oh let me just there we go Perfect. So that is the whole excavated. Um, and also, I don't think I have enough mossy cobble. Um, I understand I try to compensate for it, but I don't think I do. Uh, but yeah, this is looking amazing. I love this little area so far. It's definitely looking good. Damn, I like this little bit as well. That bit's just enough for what it is. Um, but yeah, so I'll work on the roof area and get back with you. All right, so this is how we stand at the moment, and I can I just say, I really do like this. So I've only done two blocks up, and I think I'm going to leave it there. And I honestly don't think I need uh, stalagmite. I should have looked it up by now. I've said it so many times. However, I definitely think the bottom area definitely does need it. But so far, it's looking so goddamn good. It's so pretty. 
I love it. I'm absolutely loving this area at the moment. Um, so yeah, so around the corner is just going to be like to get to the small narrow uh, waterways. Uh, I'm going to have like areas just go up around uh, around the three all of them. And of course, that one's going to be the Guardian Farm eventually. There's all going to be a lot of projects going on at once. So hopefully, I can get those done in like one episode. Oh God, excuse me, pardon me. One episode at a time. But yeah, this is looking so goddamn pretty. So, um, it's pretty self-explanatory what I did. However, I literally just went around, around the edges, and just slowly chipped out the, um, what I wanted. Because I know the, that, that level there is going to be the water level. So I don't really need to go that far down. Um, so, all I basically... See, that's so annoying. All this goddamn flint. It's so, uh... <laughs> So I think that's going to be the bottom of the, this bit here is going to be the bottom of it. Maybe one, uh, oh, hello, ghost, ghost block. There we go. Um, I knew there was a ghost block here. Uh, is it this one here? There we go, there it is. I think that's the only annoying thing with uh, um, like having a fast pick is these goddamn um, ghost blocks. Like I have it on every single server I play on. Uh, I was uh, actually ambushed last time I was down here. <laughs> uh, because, oh wait, I'm not doing this right. So, yeah, just going around the edge, like, not even accurate. Just sometimes I leave two blocks, sometimes I don't leave any. And then just make sure there's no, like, obvious things like that. So at this point, I'd probably come back in. Because you have to remember, this bit's underneath the wood, so I can be a little bit more... Um, but yeah, I'm also at this point wanting probably to make a small waterway into this bit here, like a so. Very, very nice. And then I would go on and excavate the middle and then slowly dig out the area. But saying that, I definitely do like that dip. So I might just have that and then have that as a bottom level and do that all the way around. So I'll do that and come back. All right, so there we go. And... It definitely is quite, like, short in comparison to, like, from what I originally imagined. I'm sure if you took away this, it would definitely have that same sort of effect. But I really do like this. I think it's definitely what I was going to go for. So all I need to do is replace all of this with um, just regular smooth stone. And add a few lighting things into the ceiling. So I'll do that now. Uh, before I have to go to, uh, before I have to go and venture the never, which is always going to be a, a fun experience, but, um, oh well, as is always, my, my, uh, inventory is absolutely cluttered, but I'm not really surprised anymore, but this looks so amazing, oh my goodness, um, I think I was going to have probably the salt bit on here, but I'll do that probably in the next episode, start with that. So yeah, let's go. Let's uh, let's drop off, drop off, drop off everything in my inventory now. Let's go. Oh, by the way, this is what I've been doing. Um, because I've just been getting lazy. Um, I don't know how. I don't think the amount of uh, the amount of blocks which I gave myself isn't going to be enough to be honest. Uh, where do I put my arrows? This one? No, no, no. That looked like it. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so let's get that. Let's go into the nether. And let's get this glowstone. Oh, it, should, it does look so amazing. Wow. I might actually... That's going to be really annoying. I might have to make that even. Even though I don't really want it. As the dogs echo. The barking of the echoes. Or the echo of the barking. I can't think. It's been a long day so far. I'm going to my ear. So, yeah... Oh, God, hello, game. Maybe my game just doesn't like recording in the never. Who would have thought? Um, so, yeah, let's slowly make our way down, trying not to get lost. Um, well, that is the... That is what I've been looking for. So, let's just try and... Uh, So yeah, let's go over there. Don't know why I excavated all those blocks, but oh well. It has been done. Uh, let's break all of these. 
that one now. Sorry, I'm just, uh, I have to talk this through because otherwise I won't do it right. Is there any glowstone close? There is. And because I have the fortune pick now, this is going to make doing this so much easier. Oh. Oh, of course. Yeah. Of course I would see that here. Uh, let's first of all see how accessible. Actually, let's get this uh, never quartz first of all. Always do some more never quartz. So, 25, nice. From I didn't count how many. Um, oh well. So much never quartz up here, though. So, that is definitely. Oh. Oh no. I, I, uh. I don't like. <laughs> I know, I'm as soon as I. Really? Ready? Oh, God damn it. Um, I know as soon as I step on. There we go. I've done that one too high. Oh well. Um, as soon as I step onto this, I'm going to hear the, the gas noise. It's ready. Three, two, one. No, okay, nothing. <laughs> um, but I forgot to say, where my jungle portal is, uh, which we placed down, I think, two episodes ago, if not three, um, directly underneath it, there is a, a nether fortress. So that's where we can go to get our... Uh, weather skulls, so uh, so we can get uh, instant mining going, because that'd be good. I mean, I, we I mean, first of all we need to get an actual farm going for um, that spider spawner which we found in a previous episode. I think it was in one of the first episodes, if not episode two, which we still haven't done anything with, but that's my own fault um, because I don't like messing around with that sort of stuff. As long as I don't break the block I'm standing on, I should be fine. Because I think this is going to be more than plenty that we're going to need for a long, 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 long time. Oops. Um, do we have any dyes? No, we don't. We don't. We can't make cyan. So many are going to drop on the floor there. Oh well. Yeah, I should be really. I'll get all this. Don't worry. Um. So the main thing is we have this light source. I mean, I prefer to have a sea lantern. Hats. Lead lantern. Lantern, but we can always change it eventually. As long as it isn't dropping in lava, no, it's not. It's dropping into a f one block of fire, which shouldn't be that much of a problem. I probably. Oh, there it is. I knew it was going to come. And there's the creepy dungeon noises. Okay, that, I don't. I don't want to be here any longer than I have to be. Oh, there is no way up here, is there? Where is that gas? Um, do I have enough health? Oh god, there's two. Well, I went for it. Oh my god, I don't think I did. Oh god, this is a bad idea. Okay, so I'll just get to me getting back. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, um, how much do I have? Oh god, I got tons. I got five stacks. Four stacks. Oh, uh, one, one, one stack, of course. I can't actually count. Um, but yeah, we got one stack in a bit. Uh, let's do a little bit exploring whilst we're out here. There might be a nevered fortress a little bit closer, but I highly doubt it. Um, 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 um. I think I've definitely done my... Um... I don't want to go over that edge. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to skip to me getting back, and I'll... Uh... Oh, oh, God, this game. Oh, my God. I need to look down more. Okay, I'll just get to me. I'll probably just get to me going into my creative world and we'll work on some stalagmites. Probably just using stone and cobble. because. I so yeah, I've very quickly worked on these and they don't look like anything special, but when they're clumped together, I'm sure they're going to look better. The reason why I chose white stained clay here is just basically one of the only real color blocks, uh, color stained clay I have. Color stained clay? Color stained glass I have access to. Um. And then with these as well, it's um, they're they're gonna be underwater, and with my texture pack, it's basically the n normal like dark color um, dark color water, so I don't really mind it. And then yeah, so we'll go put these into my single player world. I'll do that pretty quickly for you. So yeah, I uh, decided not go with the idea mainly because it. <sighs> I was basically looking from up here, and it looked terrible. So what I want this area to be is a completely... I, I want 
the whole idea is that it's just look as plain as possible, but we're putting minimalistic details in. So what I decided to do uh, instead is to give it like that extra little more height. Um, I put cobblestone um, slabs in the ceiling, which I think look better than it was before. So it gives that a little bit more texture and it basically flattens out that roof a little bit more. So next thing we need to do is work on the stalagmites. Oh, I still... <laughs> I should have really looked this up before I started recording. Because that's probably the fourth or fifth time I've questioned myself now. But yeah. Um, I might just keep it with, uh, keeping it with like simplicity. Is just replace, try and replace as much of the floor as I can with um, mossy cobble. Let me try and find the mossy cobble which we, uh, which we got from the jungle temples from previous episodes. Um, is it this one? No, is it this one? No, I'm pretty sure you can craft it, but I'm not 100% sure. Is it this one? No, is it this one? Uh, no, uh, is it this one? Yeah, there it is. So we got four stacks and a little bit more. If we need it, let's hope we don't need it. Probably going, probably going up there. We needed um. Probably going to get ambushed here. I'm telling you. Right? No. Okay. Nice. So uh, I'll. Pr oh, I knew it. So let's kill this guy first of all. Jesus. Uh, let's hope I don't die. Oh wait, hello. This is not the. Uh, this is not my weapon of choosing. You're gonna be. You're gonna die yet? There you go. Good job. Um, so let's uh, excavate this out and see if we can. Let's see how this looks because. Um, I definitely like the idea of the mossy as an underwater thing because I'm going to have it for all the pathways as well. So we're probably need going to need to find. I can't speak. Uh, ba -ba -da. Either go and get the rest of the mossy cobble because I did try and get most of it. However, of course, uh, that's only as good as one man's promise. Um, so I didn't get it all. I got basically bored of um, harvesting resources without like a enchanted pickaxe. So, um, how does this look? Hopefully that looks, that looks, that looks good. Definitely gives off that waterlogged feel, um, and it's worn feel. So I almost like to say that this whole thing was like, well, it's a man, it is, it is technically a man-made hole. So it would make sense for it to have cobble in it as the bottom of the floor, uh, because they didn't want to have it waterlogged. I didn't mean to break that one, never mind. Um, let's hope I don't get ambushed, but I will replace most of the blocks with uh, this mossy. Of course, all the ones at the very bottom are going to be the uh, mossy. It's not even that bad of a texture. It is like quite repetitive, but then I kind of just like the shape of this area more than anything else. So I don't mind it being that repetitive. Um, but yeah, so I will come back with this whole thing mossified. All right, and there we go, guys. I think that's all I'm gonna do for this um, this little bit, mainly because I don't think I need any more. So the water is gonna go one level underneath this. Um, let me see, whilst I am here, if I can find any uh, any water. Not any water. I know where water is. Water's water is everywhere around me. Can I find any dark oak? Anywhere at all. I'm pretty sure there is some somewhere, but I don't really want to. There it is, and some more spruce. So there we go. So this is my idea. I don't know if you can hear the outside noises. Sorry if you can. It's quite warm in England today, surprisingly. Um, let's hope um, this looks pretty good. So I already have two supports. Ow. I knew you'd be down here. Come on. No, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Psych. I mean, I mean, uh, psych. Yeah, there we go. Get wrecked. Where is he spawning from? He must have been up here. But yeah, uh, so let's uh, have it in a couple places. So let's have one there. Uh, one. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then there, maybe? Um, let's move those two over by two. 
I think getting these things sorted out would be a lot better than... So spruce, one, two, three, four, and then that. And then these ones all the way down to the bottom. So you see how it changes colour? It's like it's a, a rotten, a rotting uh, wood that's uh, touched the water. It's the exact same texture compared to like the birch or the... Yeah, that looks good. I like that. And then have my little port area where all my boats are going to go. Just out the front, so just here, directly in the middle. So yeah, I think I'll do that uh, next episode. If you guys did enjoy this episode, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next adventure. Peace.